Welcome back to Worst Engines or Not. Today we are talking about one of the most requested engines. It's the GM 8.1 liter workhorse engine. Obviously these were featured in the GM workhorses, but they were also in um, some of the full size pickup trucks, 2500s, 3500s, a Kodiak, some of the express vans, and there was even an option to put them in some of the Yukon XL 2500s as well. GM started building these engines in 2001. They were used all the way up until 2009, and there's really only one version of the engine it's the l18 and so this is a cast iron block cast iron cylinder heads and it's very similar to the 454 they do have the same bore although the 8.1 liter has a, a larger stroke so there were some small design differences that made a pretty big performance upgrade from the 454 so things like uh, longer connecting rods different intake ports a different firing order uh, different cylinder head pattern and so basically this provided a lot of power similar to those diesel applications and a lot of towing capacity as well but in a gasoline version all in all this is a pretty reliable engine it's also paired with the Allison transmission which is a very well liked transmission option from GM and but you know nothing is without its problems. so I think like primarily the biggest complaint from consumers is the gas mileage this thing has some pretty crappy gas mileage it's like seven to nine miles per gallon city and then possibly like up to 14 on the highway, which really isn't great. It probably still ends up being cheaper than like a diesel engine option, but, but it's definitely not great. Second most common complaint we get is regarding the crankshaft position sensor. So this sensor monitors the position and the rotation of your crankshaft. It then relays that information to the ECU, which is able to control your fuel injection and your timing. And these positions are known to be faulty. So what ends up happening is it's really relaying incorrect information to your ECU, which is then going to alter your timing, which can cause issues in your vehicle, like poor performance or your vehicle not starting. And so GM supposedly resolved this issue in 2003. So hopefully if you have one of these engines made after 2003, this is not a problem that you are experiencing. There were a couple of smaller issues that we hear about as well that weren't as big of an issue. Um, things like a lifter tick, which honestly in itself isn't that big of a problem. Um, intake manifold gasket leaks, which generally speaking is pretty common with every engine once you get higher up in mileage. Um, and then of course spark plug issues, which a lot of people can debate, like that's a maintenance issue, so you know, what have you. If you've got any experience with the GM 8.1 liter, definitely let me know in the comments.